And now we are going to start looking at the various uh, vulnerabilities in the OWASP Top 10 with the help of a Rails application. And this Rails application is basically a plain vanilla generated Rails application with a couple of scaffolds that I've added, meaning there's a couple of uh, sets of resources here. And what we're going to do is look at how each of the vulnerabilities could present itself in the Rails application, what the behavior looks like, and how to fix the code. So the first thing we'll do is run the server. And then we are going to go over to our web browser and load up the welcome page. And this is the Rails default welcome page. Uh, nothing unusual here. Uh, however, there is now a new set of pages that I've added for performing uh, various of the attacks involved with the vulnerabilities to show you how they work. And uh, I have also uh, created sort of a guide path, and this shows which of the paths in the application are related to which of the attacks. So we're going to look at command injection first. So if we go over to users, so command injection here. We'll see that there's this text box, very plain looking, but uh, what happens here is this is supposed to be a search for files. So if we search for something like, hello, we submit and there's no file, so there's no result. However, because there's a command behind the scenes, when I escape out of this command and try my own command, you'll see that this shows me all the files and this can be pretty dangerous, of course, because I can run other commands and those commands would be a lot more dangerous compared to just doing a listing of files. So now let's take a look at how this is actually built behind the scenes. And so you see we're talking about command injection. And so we're going to look at some of the pages related to command injection first. And we'll work our way through the vulnerabilities in a set of videos. So here in the pages, views that I've created. We look at command injection, the view, and we see that it posts to a controller action called search one. And uh, it gets back a param search based result. And here we see that we use that param search to do find dot dash I name and this is something that works on OS 10 and above. And use this unescaped param search to find our file. So of course the problem here is we're doing this very much direct evaluation onto the OS. We are not performing any kind of sanitization on the input. And we're just passing the string in directly into the eval. And so as a result of this, of course, we can have all kinds of trouble because as soon as somebody figures out that they can short circuit this here, they can now run any command over here. So how do we actually stop someone from performing this attack in Rails? Well, first of all, uh, we shouldn't use direct input in a way that is passed directly to an OS command. Uh, we should always first sanitize it. And so one thing we could even do is we can look at something like search and, uh, you know, we can do this anywhere. We can do this in the view if we want to. And um, we can see if it include, and we'll see if it includes this kind of a symbol. And if it does, we can just say not allowed. Or we can say 
after that. Not allowed, right? And that's really all that we need here for this specific use case. And this is called character blacklisting because we are creating a blacklist of the characters we won't allow in our search. So then if we do something like a less, uh, one second, this shouldn't have that. If brands, let's see. Ah, yes, both of these. We don't need to output these, right? So, so there we go. If I put in anything, if it doesn't match a file, it will not show it. If it finds something like app or a config, it'll show it. But then if we try to do something like foo and then ls-l, it says not allowed. And then we just need to add an else here. And there we go. And then this still works. And this by itself won't work. And even if we do something like, so now we have remediated the uh, dangerous command injection that we had. And that's the first of our vulnerabilities.